Dallas Seavey, a three-time champion of the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. His lead dog's just about under that arch now. Congratulations to Dallas Seavey. Good morning, back again. Stuck with me for another day. I had no plans to vlog today. But I've got to head the girls into school because Kevin's already left. He left really early. He's um doing some work up at his dad's property, digging. I, don't, I think he's digging trenches again, <laughs> something like that. Um, <laughs> I think he's enjoying the digger. <laughs> yeah, so I'm pretty sure he was. Um, yeah, that's what he's doing. He's borrowed the digger from his friend. Yeah. Um, so, because I've got to head the girls into school. I thought, I want to take the dogs on a walk. Might as well go for a walk in town. We didn't get to do the harbour walk yesterday. So we'll do it today. So, looks like it should be a nice day out there, hopefully. And just um, pop on some exercise clothes. I won't have my shower until I come back, I figure. I don't think it's going to be that hot, but I may as well have my shower and freshen up when I get home. Then I've got a doctor's appointment, and I don't think Athena's organised herself for today, so... I don't know whether I can take her to an appointment or she needs to catch a train or get my dad to take her. Yeah, so apparently doing much exciting, but I wanted to share the walk with you anyway. So I've just dropped the girls off. And me and my puppy is Rosie's in the boot. <laughs> she can actually see that quite well there. Hello. <laughs> We're going to head down to the harbour now. Okay, before I get the crazy dogs out of the car. So this is North Beach, where she got married in that hotel over there. So bike track goes around there we might do that walk another day and yeah the beach is just over there How straight away there yesterday. I think we'll walk a little bit further around, then we'll turn and head back. Okay, I think we're going to turn around and head back now. That's about 15 minutes. Poor Bailey, he's so wondering when he's going to get down there on the beach. But not today. <laughs> so excited. Poor Bailey. <laughs> not today, mate. I don't know if you can see at the back window. There's a gold in there, having a big, big city. It's a really good walk. Pretty tired. Oh, I forgot to stop my timer. Did that yesterday too. Stop my, stop my timer. I think it would be a, just under half an hour, I think. Yeah, okay. So it's probably 25 minutes, so that's not bad. 
I think that's enough. Huh? So I'll get these. He's not convinced since we didn't get to the beach. He's not impressed, I don't think. <laughs> anyway, maybe next time we'll do a beach. I think I'm going to try and at least do this at least once a week because it's so nice. It's just good, good for, good for the mind and brain. <laughs> back home, back to real life. It's so funny when I go down anywhere near the beach. I feel like I'm on holidays just instantly. It's so weird. But yeah, back home again. I'm going to do some washing up and then I'm going to sit down. Stomach's a bit icky after that. <laughs> so hopefully that'll settle down pretty quick. Actually, I'll make a smoothie for breakfast because I haven't had breakfast. So I'll do that and then I'll sit and finish cooling down. It's supposed to be high 20s again today. So I'm glad we went pretty early for that walk. Um, but yeah, I just love doing things that like are normal, what I used to do in my old life. <laughs> Rosie again, drinking. So yeah, that's good. Um, so basically the plan is do the washing up, get my smoothie, cool down, go a shower, get myself ready for the day, and then probably work on editing yesterday's vlog. And then I've got my doctor's appointment, so. And then I think because of the appointment time, I didn't know whether I could be back in, be available to take Athena to her appointment or was she gonna to have to catch the train. So the plate says she's asked Pops to take her, so he's gonna pick her up, do the usual thing, lunch, and then take her to her appointment and then drop her back in town. So. After my doctor's appointment, I need to go pick up my compression stocking because it's ready. It's been ready for nearly a week now, but I haven't been, well, I've been to town, but not when they've been open. So I'll go and pick that up after my appointment and then come home. Then I'll be home for a couple of hours now. By the time I get home, I probably won't actually do anything besides watch some cycling. So it's another swamp smoothie. <laughs> so it's actually a berry and spinach smoothie. I'm gonna go up and have my shower now. Um, Mum's over and she's <laughs> got in the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> She's so good. Uh, but she wanted to do it. <laughs> if you missed yesterday's vlog, Mum was after some jobs to do. Her house is all spick and span and done. And she didn't have anything to do. And she finds that's good when she's a bit stressed, worried, getting busy helps her. So she was after some more jobs. So I thought, well, you could clean my buffer unit because that's straightforward. So I'm puffed and come upstairs. So I'm going to get my shower and get a move on. I'm going to run late. I am back from my appointment and I went and got my compression stockings because the two ones I've got now got holes in them so that's good and I just get four and that lasts me pretty much a year I think I believe as you have two in rotation at a time and then I stopped and got bread I kind of a vlog the other day our bakery the local bakery is opened again now so I'm getting bread from there so it's um it's almost as oh, it's gone dark. It seems to be almost as good as baking. It's like probably not quite, but it's three quarters of price. So it's only like a dollar saving, but that's he's more convenient than having to go down to the mall. Although I just realised I probably should have bought Christy a roll because she doesn't really like bread. Oh, I'm silly, aren't I? Um, oh well, <laughs> she'll have to make something else. She's not happy with it. It is so warm. It's ridiculous again. Oh, I don't know whether to put the air conditioning on or not. It's kind of that sort of borderline. Put it on, especially in this, this part of the room. It's a gorgeous day. Look, what a beautiful day. Beautiful. I'm going to have my lunch, get my salad, watch some cycling, and then I'm going to head out a little bit earlier. I've got to pick up a prescription for my pain meds, and I want to go and get petrol for my car because my light just came on. So I'll do those before I head and pick up Christy. And said so Pop's taking a thing up to her appointment. I probably would have just made it, but it might have been a little bit stressful to um, get there. And she wouldn't have had lunch. She would have had to hang out for like 45 minutes at McDonald's. She could have had lunch there, I guess. But yeah, so kind of a bonus. I've scored a few extra hours, but she wants me to go and pick her up from... No, she wants me to take her back into town again at 5 o'clock. So that means... Same as yesterday, I'm going to have had four return trips to Wollongong and back. That's like two hours in the car yesterday and two hours again today. Oh well. <laughs> She'll be back to normal tomorrow. Oh no, so I don't. I've got, I've got to take her into school after her appointment. Uh, yeah, so another day I'm running around tomorrow. Back to normal, maybe next week. Well, another day, another salad. But this time, the same old salad. But I decided to try these other the Red Kelly's dressings that I have. And this is a sweet chili, I don't know if you can see it. Sweet chili and lime. So I hope I haven't made a mistake, but I've obviously, I think I only really has it, so I've obviously gone through a bit of the bottle over the time. Probably had it for ages. So, ingredients aren't too bad. 
I'm having trouble reading it in my bad eyes. I'm getting my nose of a good Australian dressing that's um, really got good ingredients. Um, let me know. Um, or if you have a homemade recipe for dressing, I would be interested in that too. Um, I can't find the one that I, I had. I'll have to have a look through books. I'm sure I've got a few recipes. I was making a ranch, a vegan ranch dressing for a while, but it's kind of dressing you get kind of sick of. It's nice once in a while, but you get kind of sick of it pretty quick. So, um, yeah, if you've got any ideas for me, recommendations, let me know. Oh, we've got some good snow on the race today. <laughs> Oh, no. Here to go for a bike ride in that one. Not many people there to watch, funnily enough, with the weather. <laughs> I like him. I like everything's all shiny. It looks so nice. <laughs> you don't realise sort of how dull things get in there, but... That's so nice. She's rearranged a few things, which is fine. Um, and I said, I, I think I'm going to donate these three. Well, I've got a shop, a church. These are party like things. Shop and church and a candle shop. I bought them, um, as you can see, she said she had a lot of trouble at the top here. Which is to look a bit um, smeary. But, um, yeah, I bought them. But when I was sort of collecting, I got the first one, thinking I'd start a little village collection. If you've probably seen my Christmas village that I have, well, didn't go up last year, but been up a few years. And um, they were a little bit bigger. <laughs> They're like four times the size. So a bit too big to make a village out of. And I think I'm just going to donate them. I mean, they're quite cute. And actually, you put them on the table and they look really nice. But when they're just stuck in the cupboard, and then I can maybe put some more vases or something up there and sort of utilise the space a little bit better than having decorative things that I never look at or admire. Um, someone else can have them <laughs> to, to do what they want with them. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And this is a punch bowl. I love it. It was actually my mum's. I think I might have even bought it for her. I can't quite remember the story on that one. Um, I still love it. It's beautiful, but I never use it. I like She was going to donate it and I took it because I really love it. But... I don't think we're ever going to use it. We don't entertain, and I'm probably not going to make punch even if we did entertain. So I think we're going to let that go. And I've got two, um, where's the other one gone now? Oh, these cake stands. So I had the other one, and Mum bought me that one, so I'm going to keep the blue one and um, pass along the other one. I'm afraid today's going to turn out to be a boring vlog because I seem to have gone on strike. Watch the cycling as you saw. Oh, it's all dark in here, sorry. I'm making my way towards the car. Um, and yeah, now I'm going to pick up Christy. So I don't know if I've got time to go to the chemist now. I probably don't go to the chemist now, so I've got time to get petrol. I just have to wait a few minutes if I'm a little bit late. Not the end of the world. I think my sales, if my stomach shrunk or my sales have gotten bigger, but my sales have gotten bigger for the second time in, like yesterday and today. I feel a bit too full after my salad. So I'll try and make my salad a bit smaller tomorrow. Um, I've already got them made up so I'm exactly the same size. Next week when I make them I'll try and make them a little bit smaller. I mean it's all salad stuff, it doesn't really matter which I just end up feeling. It probably doesn't matter, it's probably good, I feel full and then I don't want to eat anything else. Oh look at a little bunty in the background. Because the other one is there beside me. Alright, let's go again. Well, back home again. I seem to have said that a lot today and I'll be saying it one more time. Um so yeah, I've just been chatting with Athena and Christian after school and whatnot. And I really just want to sit and watch some YouTube. But about it's over now, so I've got to go out again. But I'm going to edit the vlog for him yesterday because tomorrow's going to turn into another crazy day. So if I don't do it now, it possibly won't get done until Saturday. So I will do it now for you. Just taking Athena into town now. Let's get the Bailey in the car. Oh, Bailey. He doesn't want to miss out another car ride. Well, that's <laughs> you don't want to miss another car ride, do you? Well, I don't think it's been the most exciting day for you guys today. That's part of the reason I used to only ever do like one midweek vlog and one weekend vlog because 
most of the days are pretty repetitive and they certainly have been I feel this week um, so sorry about that <laughs> might get back to maybe the more normal two vlogs a week I don't know you guys don't seem to mind these for the most part let me know anyway if you just prefer what you prefer if you're happy to have all these vlogs that are kind of the same or whether it'd be just to do two vlogs a week and then have time to do some other videos I had one to plan to film a pantry video this week but that hasn't happened it's gonna to have to go on the list for next week but if I wasn't vlogging and editing vlogs and I could make more of a concerted effort to do other videos so let me know what you think anyway um it went to dump their plates in the kitchen again I don't know why they don't put them in the dishwasher I know why because silly Billy mum does it for them tell you I'm already missing the Iditarod and all the Iditarod dogs <laughs> all the dogs I'm sad <laughs> The pup will curl up with a cute before I thought, oh, I'm going to miss all the, I'm already missing the sled dogs. I know there's still some out there racing. There's a few videos coming through, but there won't be much now. And I'm not on the forums or anything anymore. I actually didn't go on them anywhere as, near as much this year. Probably because I had the cycling to watch as well. Um, so I wasn't, yeah. And plus the race wasn't obviously quite so as exciting because Dallas was kind of, looked like he was going to win for a good majority of the race. Whereas last year's was a very exciting finish. Anyway, we're just going to have an easy dinner. Um, then we'll have something in town and then I'm just going to cook these mince and potato pies for Kevin and myself. And I'll probably throw in some corn nuggets for Christy. 200 degrees to check the temperature. Oh, that's it for that. So yeah, I thought Kevin might have been home when I got home because he's been getting home a bit earlier. Since he's not, I'll go and try and finish editing that video. Then I'm going to get that done. Uh, I'll, I'll go and try and do that first. <laughs> I just realised I'm supposed to make almond milk and make um, overnight oats. I might just use the soy milk tonight and make it a bit easier. I may I might just use a muesli with the frozen mango. Make things a bit easier again. I'll have to mash up bananas. Yeah, like I've realised. Come this time of night, not real much good. I don't want to do anything, especially when it's so hot. I've got no energy now, so I, th I will still do it because I want to have overnight oats in the morning. So I will just make the muesli with the mango because it's just easier. Um, I was going to say something else and I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, so lucky enough I'd planned this to do those frozen pies for dinner because again, if I was having to cook something now, I wouldn't want to. So I really do need to, I think, make sure that I can get dinner made before lunch. It seemed to work really well. The days I did it, it was fantastic. So um, I'll keep working on that for next week. <laughs> Kevin has been home, uh, but he's gone back out again. He's um, got to go sitting tomorrow right into the middle of the city. And he said it's going to cost him about $250 to park. That's bonkers. I guess that's like little short term parking. So it's $100 an hour. So he's going to catch the train, which is a big thing for him because he's not big on public transport. So he's going, oh no, I'm going to hate it. But anyway, he's gone off to buy himself an Opal card because you can't just buy a ticket like a normal person. You've got to have a thing that swipes. <laughs> so bizarre, my husband. If it's horrible, he will never do it ever again. I don't know what he's going to do because you can't justify paying $250 for parking. Um, and this is to try and generate some work. So he's actually not getting paid for this. Let's check that out. Oh, <laughs> I'm showing you dinner. Yeah, that's happened to our dinner. They look nice, the time just exploded. Yeah, so he's taken off and I then the oven went. And I just texted him saying, dinner's ready. It shouldn't be too long. Um, I think he's had to probably a few minutes away, five minutes away maybe to where he's going to get them from so I'm not making almond milk I'll make up what I said before I'll do that um, get that done yeah I don't know anything else to go those pies that should be enough um, Chris you can just make yourself a jaffle or something and that would be dinner okay three mango overnight oats done and just use that a little bit quicker without having to fiddle mashing up the banana I'd like to say a quick good night now we've had our dinner the pies were really quite nice and played a game of cards with Christy 
just gonna go get changed now to my jammies. I don't know why I'm so late doing that today. It's seven o'clock at night, but anyway, the way it's gone. Done the washing up, kitchen's tidy and organized, and then we'll find somewhere to watch on TV. So I will say goodnight and I will probably see you over the weekend. Um, I think. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.